Microsoft just revealed the specs of the Xbox Series X, and they're bringing the big guns. What's up everybody, Brad here back again, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Microsoft has announced the specs of the next generation Xbox, and it is coming in at a big and bold 12 tera flaps. 12, that is a 1 with a 2, a 1, 2, a 1, 2 punch for the console generation. Microsoft is bringing the big guns to the next generation console. We've been talking about that number for a while. It is now officially official. Mr. Phil Spencer making the announcement this morning. And they're also giving us a few other details, including variable rate shading, which we knew a bit about uh, hardware accelerated DirectX ray tracing, quick resume for multiple games, which is a cool feature we'll talk about here in a minute, and smart, de smart delivery of um, games as well. So at a high level here, Microsoft isn't revealing every single detail of the next generation Xbox, but they are talking in depth more so than they have historically, where they are talking about, uh, it's a Zen 2 CPU from AMD, we already knew that, uh, RDNA 2, and of course, 12 teraflops. That is twice the power of the Xbox One X, according to Microsoft, and more than eight times the original Xbox One. So uh, when you couple that in with hardware accelerated ray tracing, uh, a really fast next generation solid state drive as well, which would probably be around one terabyte. I'm suspecting that they will offer uh, more. And there's also expandable storage, which we've talked about here quite a bit on this uh, channel as well. Um, but Microsoft is talking about that officially at this time. Now, quick resume, I think is Microsoft ace in the sleeve. I've been hearing about this for a while and I was actually going to write up some stuff this week, but what it allows you to do is let's say you're playing a game I don't think it necessarily works too well on multiplayer, and you'll see why here in a second. But let's say you're on level 12 of the, of the campaign, and you're playing through, and you gotta, you know, you gotta shut it down. Mom's making dinner, or your wife's yelling at you for you to make dinner, whatever it may be. When you go to start the game back up, you start back instantly to where you left off. Remember, when you start a game, a lot of times you have to go through that. that the game boots up, and then it, there's all those icons like, well, look, we used Havoc Engine, we used all these different things, and we got to show these fancy splash icons, and it's just a waste of time. And Quick Resume basically allows you to save the exact state you left on and then you, when you resume it works extremely well and I've been hearing um, from people familiar with what Microsoft is doing that it works exceptionally well and then the ace in the sleeve here I think is going to be imagine when you bundle this in with services like xCloud you could be playing on your console and it saves that state you jump onto your xCloud device and it picks right back up to where you were now I don't know if we're going to have that functionality exactly on day one but I know that is where Microsoft is heading to they're making this unified seamless gaming experience no matter what device you're on it's going to feel like it's all the same device now you're going to get obviously different graphics and different performers depending on where you're playing but quick resume i think is microsoft's ace in the sleep I, I really do it's a really really neat feature another feature they're talking about too is called smart delivery smart delivery is going to be a cool one and i believe all Microsoft titles, first party titles are going to support this. And I suspect third parties will as well. So here's the idea. Uh, Microsoft is already talking about how there's going to be cross-generational games. That's not a big surprise. But imagine you're, you're, you buy a game, right? You buy it on your Series X. But you also have an Xbox One upstairs that your younger brother or your kid uses. Well, depending on the console that you were on, it will download the appropriate game version using smart delivery, right? It makes sense. If, you, if you're on an Xbox One, you don't need to download all the content for the 4k assets that will never ever ever be utilized on that device it's called smart delivery it's going to be pretty cool um, and it should help out with things like bandwidth and everything else and just make the experience just a little bit better um, we're also hearing a little bit more about dynamic latency input or dli uh, which is a feature that is going to help make when you use i keep looking for my controller when you use the controller it's going to make the input latency just a little bit better i don't think necessarily the xbox has an issue with it but i think this is it's just and move, moving things at the margins just a little bit closer to perfection, if you will. And so that is going to be helpful as well. And so those are the big things. I mean, the biggest thing that Microsoft is talking about is 12 T-flops, that they are making that official. I also... I also think this means that Microsoft probably knows where Sony is headed with their console, and they are now confident that they have a a uh, performance advantage. I don't think Microsoft would have come out this early and said all this stuff. The other thing that's really kind of crazy, I mean, they announced this stuff Monday at 6 a.m. Pacific time, just kind of nonchalantly said, oh yeah, t t 12 T top, 12 T flops, if I could talk, and just like chucked it over the side of the boat for everyone to feast on. Um, this is, Phil Spencer and Microsoft is doing very unorthodox things when it comes to announcing consoles in 
comparison to historic announcements of the Xbox brand or even PlayStation for that matter. Microsoft just thrown it out there in the open, which to me says this is a new Microsoft Xbox team. This is a team that is very confident in what they're doing. They're very proud of what they're doing and they are just loading this information out there. Now, the reason why they're probably announcing this is that they're going to be talking about it more at the Game Developers Conference, which is coming up in a few weeks, which is where they're going to try to drum up more interest for developers to start utilizing their technology and getting on board with the Xbox brand. And so Microsoft says, hey, why hold this information back? We're confident we've got the best. We're confident we've got the most powerful console. Let's just go ahead and make it official. Now, we're still waiting to hear all the nitty gritty details about the GPU, which are still, we need to know things like shaders. We need to know, we don't know um, the, the clock rate of the chip yet, but that stuff doesn't matter as much. The clock rate, now that we know that 12 T-flops is what's gonna happen. That means Microsoft has found a clock rate and a cooling capacity and a framework that works to get that type of performance. I will be very curious to see what developers think of all this extra power moving from a, a traditional Xbox console or even the PlayStation, what they those developers think. Um, we're also still waiting to see what Sony has, but rumors have been pegging Sony's somewhere between the nine and 10 teraflop uh, performance, but 12 is what we had been hearing for a long time in the Xbox camp, and now it's happily official from Microsoft. The other question is too, is where is the Lockhart? Right, Microsoft is still is yet to talk about Lockhart, and I, I have heard, and I can't confirm and don't run the press headlines with this, that Lockhart may not launch at the same time exactly as uh, Anaconda or the Series X. Still not, the verdict is still out, the jury is still out on this, um, but that might be happening, and maybe that's why we're not hearing as much, and so we will see. We will see. We've got the Game Developer Conference coming up, which is where our next more than likely chance of learning some new nitty gritty details about the Xbox Series X. But there you go, guys. Those are some of the first specs. We'll have more information on this uh, in the coming days and weeks, but I wanted to get you the first bit of news there. And here you go. Hit that subscribe button. Catch all of you right back here on the 12 Teraflop channel.